Okay, so we've got all the ingredients to make us a delicious coffee cake. Yes, I'm using the ice cream container because we keep those. I've got another bowl for other things. I'm gonna measure out everything. We got flour. What I wanted to show you is we got this regular flour, great value, great value almond flour. You can see that. And then we've got organic coconut flour. We're gonna try all these flours in there. And then we've got pure cane brown sugar. We've got our butter. We've got cream cheese. Yes. You're probably like, I've never heard of that in a coffee cake. But you're going to hear of this one today. Okay, so we're going to make a double recipe because there's a lot of us. And plus, hopefully it's good. But when you double it, you got to be very precise and careful. Because you don't want it to taste weird or horrible. You want it to be good. So you can rave about it for so I'm trying to find that little measuring spoon. But I I don't have a lot of time you guys. I'm doing my daughter's hair first of all. I don't know if I should make some little what if I make the little ones you put in the, the cupcake. Yeah. I might do some of those, see? We got these because last time we made them, they loved them. Didn't you guys love them? So we'll put them in there. And I'm thinking about just making them in there, basically. That's what I was thinking about. And you got your own little personal thing, huh? Okay guys, I gotta come back in a second. Okay, so I had to talk with my therapist. Sorry about that. And you don't know that I took some time, but I did. And I'm late getting things done here. So we've got flour, sugar. Um, you could use the sugar, okay, hold on. You don't have to use regular sugar. You can use Truvia which I do have some of that, but I'm gonna use both maybe, or regular or whatever, but whatever kind you wanna use. This is not um, low carb or anything, but I am using some of these flowers. That's why I wanted to show you. I'm opening them now so that we can, I wanna taste it and see how it tastes with both flowers. I mean, all three of them, regular and, Coffee cake's gotta be coffee cake. I have made a keto coffee cake though, and that one was so good. So look back at the at it. Because you put like for the crust, you put almonds or some kind of pecans and stuff like that. I put pecans. Oh, I really hooked it up. But this time it's gonna be regular mama's. Oh, and I was gonna say, if you look online and you really want a good exercise program, you can go to Planet Fitness and they have at home. Uh, exercise programs so we're doubling the recipe so ask for a quarter cup of butter softened one quarter cup so we're gonna have a half cup right if it asks for a quarter and I put the cream cheese in there but I didn't put that much it's asking for eight ounces and I'm not gonna put 16 ounces of dang of the cream cheese or whatever I think that's a little bit too much and I think my mom used to put some, I'm gonna do it. She put a little bit of shortening. Hold on guys. I put a little bit, see, right there. My mom, she really made some good coffee cake. I'm trying to find the secret. Maybe she'll give it to me one day. Okay, now are we putting everything together? Hold on, I'm looking at the recipe right now. If they don't play with me. Sometimes they do. All right. Well, where's the way you do it? I, th I think I know how to do it. I just mix in these ingredients. Let me just get the right ingredients before I lose the recipe. And I'm going to put it in these little cups. But let's see what we're going to do here. We have the cups for the, for the things, right? 
Cream together butter, butter, cream, cheese, sugar, and eggs. Do we have, um, we have some of those, what are they called, um, the holders that you put the, um, cupcake things in that I can use? The tin, like the, the bacon? Yes. Oh, you mean like the paper? Yes. Yeah, there, you can use all of those. Thank you. No, I won't use them all, but I was just wondering if we had any. Yeah, there's plenty in there. Thank you. Okay. Guys, the dizziness has... Is that really helping? I'm trying to put this little thing that you stir up the... Uh... I had a crazy dream. I'm probably just gonna put one on there. I don't need two, do I? <laughs> Let me put one. I don't want it looking dirty. Okay, no, it's okay. It was in the drawer, so I probably should just rinse it anyways. This one looks like it's broken. One of these doesn't even go to this, so. Hold on, guys. Give it a little bit more sunshine in here. Let me see if this works. Because sometimes this thing doesn't want to push all the way on there. Let me see if it'll work. Yeah. Okay, so. That thing's going here. I'm just going to use one because I don't feel like putting both of them in there. Okay, so we're going to, it says to put everything, the cream cheese, sugar, and eggs. Okay. And what about the salt? Oh, we need vanilla. I guess I'd probably put the salt, but you don't have to put salt if you don't want any. Hold on. Looks like the pomegranates are coming up over there too. Believe me, they were so good last year. Okay, let's see from the neighbor. <laughs> It says put the dry ingredients. We'll put the, the salt with this, I guess. And one fourth cup of flour. Oh no, that's for the topping. Hold on. Okay. How much flour? Four cups of flour. One and a half cups of sugar. So we want everything in here, the sugar and everything in there. So we're gonna put one and a half cups of sugar. So that'll be three cups. Ooh, that's a lot of sugar. Okay, hold on. So you, like I said, you can put Truvia, and um, this is our Friday night. It's still not an excuse. Because <laughs> you go on, coffee cake isn't sweet though, huh? Is it? One. So one and a half will be three, if you double it. I'm just double checking. I'm just making sure. It seems like an awful lot of sugar. Okay, so. So you put that together. And then you've got four eggs instead of two. So we'll crack this one. What I do is I kind of look at it to make sure it's not anything weird going on with it. It looks like something's in there. I don't like the way it looks. Something white. And we're gonna put, um, what do you call it? Okay, got you out of there? No, don't go back. I heard something like you can take the egg. Uh-oh, is that my phone? 
Can you see who that is, please? Okay, so. It's on the table. There's one there. Then, thank you, sweetie. Got this one. Did I leave that white stuff in there? Um, four, two, four. I have no idea who that is. Thank you. Uh, sure, let me see. Thank you. Hold on, guys. Okay, so. Let me pour that one in. We got we gotta have four. Whoa. Three. And we got one more to go. Yeah, just check them out and make sure the eggs don't look gross. Or inedible. All right, and I will clean that up in a minute, guys. All right, so. Oh, what about the battery, huh? You gonna check it out? Uh huh. Is your thing still charged up? Um, a little bit. Three eight, I, okay. I ordered the other charger though. Okay. So we've got two cups of flour, it says. So what we'll do is we'll do two of the regular and one almond. And how does that sound? Two cups of the regular and one almond and one coconut. Woo! Darn it. That's way really too much. Hold on. I will put it back in there, but there's egg. Okay, so we've got that, two of those. And we'll do one almond, which I think they're different than, oh gosh, I hope it doesn't mess up anything. This is the blanched one. Super fine blanched. Okay, and then we've got the coconut um, flour. I know coconut flour. Let's do half because from what I heard, it's more, you know, it's thicker. And you don't want to, you can't measure it the same as a regular flour or almond flour is at that. So do a half. You're doing my recipe? I'm saying my recipe because this, they don't have this for the coffee cake. And it's going to come out good. Do a half and then fill the rest of it up with with the uh, regular flour or the almond. Okay, then one half teaspoon of salt, so it'll be one teaspoon of salt. Put it or don't put it, it's up to you. I'm putting one teaspoon and it's going in there because it says one half. So you, you're doing a double. If you're doing regular, just one teaspoon, one half teaspoon. One teaspoon of baking soda, hold on. Okay, so then we got the soda. I'm gonna say one teaspoon. So we're gonna do two of these. Okay, this is baking soda right here. So we'll do two of those. Since it calls for one teaspoon. Two of those. And then does it ask for baking powder too? Yes, two teaspoons, so we'll do four of those. You gotta keep up with your stuff because you'll have it messed up. One, two, make sure you put the right amounts. Three, four, okay. I'm doing double, so half of what I'm doing is the regular thing. Um, 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 one teaspoon of vanilla, where well, we're going to put two of these, and you're going to put it in with the, wait, do we put it in now? I think it said put it in with the milk, I think, so we'll do that. You 
can put le extra or less or whatever. If you're not a vanilla person, you might need to keep that out for the topping. Um, it says one half cup of milk. I've got cream, so I hope it's going to be okay. Where'd it go? This is whipping cream. I, don't, I ran out of milk, I believe. So hopefully this will work okay. And it says one half cup, so I hope this is enough. It's thicker than... So we want a whole cup. Yeah. Do we put that now? I don't think we put it yet. Okay. And what else? We got the sugars, cream cheese, butter, and a little bit of uh, Crisco shortening. Sugar, eggs, the flowers there, baking soda and baking powder, milk, vanilla. Okay, so we cream together the cheese, the I mean the cream cheese, sugar, and eggs in a separate bowl. Combine milk and vanilla. Okay, the milk should be in here. Okay, do it exactly because you want it to be the best. And I think I remember this. My mom, I used to sit there and help her make it. I was an inside person, kid. So combine that. And then sift dry ingredients together and then add to cream mixture. Add to cream. So I gotta add this to that after. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And then sift, if you do your flour, just kind of do this, like sift it all together. Make sure it's well mixed. Mm, I can smell it. The coconut and the flour, almond flour, and those smell really good in here. Let's see. We're going to bake it at 350 for 20 minutes, okay, after we do our streusel. So you gotta do the topping too. How much have we recorded? Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, do you guys wanna watch me mix it? Okay, let's move this out of the way. Let's move all the stuff we don't need. What do we want our topping with? We're gonna use regular flour because I'm not sure yet how everything's gonna taste. Move that out of the way. We need the butter because we're gonna have some. Move all that. We just wanna have the stuff that we're gonna mix right now okay and you won't be able to see too much because i've got it in the whoa what is that ice cream thing okay <laughs> i need some exercise don't i okay so let's put these over here and let's turn this on okay that's a cream cheese that's kind of hard to. Hope I don't run out the engine because the motor. I only got one little one going here. She had fun talking to me, <laughs> my therapist. My therapist, she, or the therapist, she's not mine, she's the therapist that I got. Okay, so we're stirring up, look. That's what's happening. That's the cream cheese. Um, what is it, cream cheese, butter, Crisco and eggs. And you gotta add your sugar in here too. Okay? I wanted to use this blender thing because that cream cheese. I, my mom would put cream cheese in hers. And I think it's gonna be, add a delicious. It's gonna add something to it. I hope I'm supposed to add more butter or something because I didn't add as much of the cream cheese as normal. I think it should be all right. I'll 
you. I'm going to check something really quick, and then I'll be back in a second. All right, you know what I almost forgot? The cinnamon. You've got to have that. I think I'll sprinkle a little in the flour, too. Because I love this in the topping part. You gotta have cinnamon and coffee cake, don't you? Okay. I don't think you can set it on there, but you know you got cinnamon and coffee cake. Alright, so this is almost blended in well. I just wanted to check and see because I'm making a cream cheese kind, and I don't know if it's something else I was supposed to add. Maybe it's going to come out right because I don't know if it took away something else like flour, I mean oil or something that's supposed to be more. I should probably add a little bit more. I think because of that, I didn't put as much of the cream cheese. the other by hand. You're probably like, yes, please do. It's loud. <laughs> it should probably be melted a little bit more. That's why I'm doing it this way. if I can if I have enough ingredients okay Trying to see for the cream cheese one again because for some reason Okay, let me get these little things to go in there. Got some of these little things. I got one just in case. We run out. Okay. Trying to see cream cheese, one for a cup of butter. Okay, so it's asking for a little bit less butter. So 
So I think I should probably add a little bit more butter since I didn't do all the cream cheese. So we'll put one more cup because I didn't put all the cream cheese that it's asking for. I, I knew something was gonna be a little bit different. So this is how you experiment. So it asked for a half, so I'll put, I mean a fourth, so I'll put a half, a half cup more because we doubled it. And I was just doing that so that since we're not putting all that cream cheese, I, I have more cream cheese, but I don't want to put all that. Tastes fine. So remember what I'm doing if you want to try this, because I know it's going to come out good. So wait till I'm done getting it out of the oven. <laughs> and I'll tell you if it's messed up or something. And now we're going to add the flour. add the flour and then you add your milky milk stuff a little bit at a time so we'll put some we're gonna stir it up next time I have a clear bowl for you guys sorry I just didn't think it was big enough that one and that's the biggest bowl that I have and I like using these because these are and it could be kind of thick your batter you know coffee cake batter is kind of thick Okay, I don't know if I should use that blender or not. No, I think it's okay. My mom hurt her arm stirring coffee cake, so I don't know if I should use the blender. I'm not going to use it because she didn't use it and I want it to come out good. Okay, so we're stirring it. Kind of clean that off a little bit. I don't like all this stuff all over the place. Okay, here we go. I'm stirring it, guys. Make sure you stir all down in there so you get all the we're going to watch Spider-Man. What's it called again? The Spider-Man that we're going to watch? Uh, Far From Home. Far From Home. I haven't seen it yet. It's supposed to be pretty good. I guess it's good. You know, I, I haven't seen it. Or... The boys like that. I think I wa went and watched Spider-Man before at the movies and I fell asleep. I'm not really a superhero watcher person. I got my scoop so that we can scoop some of this out. And it looks really thick. I think it's a, that's why my mom hurt her hand. Because it's pretty thick, guys. Mm -mm. Very thick. I'm probably about to do something to mine too. I should have, I'm gonna be careful. Stir it real carefully. Because I don't need to be going for no, nothing happening to my hand. This stuff is thick. Okay, we're gonna have to make the topping too, so. Rinse that little thing out and I'll be back. Okay, so I got my still stirring. But anyways, after this is stirred, I'm gonna make the topping. And we're gonna put it in our put our cups in there. So probably stay tuned for part two. And I'll show you putting it in the cups in the in these things. 
coffee cake things and we're gonna make uh, the topping, okay, on part two. Okay, now we're making the, uh, what I decided, I'm gonna go ahead and make this in this pan instead. Um, you gotta grease this thing too, so we're gonna put some, but we need to put some, Butter in here. I was gonna make the uh, the other kind, but I'm not gonna do it. Hold on, guys. Okay, so we're putting a half cup of uh, butter, margarine, whatever you want to use, and then the brown sugar. Uh oh, we gotta put two cups of that. This is a lot of goody. A lot of good good. Okay, and then we got another one. So it says one cup, so you're doing a double. So you're gonna put two, okay? And then you got a half a cup of flour. And you can put, mix up the other ones with it if you want to. I'm just gonna use this one. Because you know what the flour does? It stops your brown sugar stuff from sinking to the bottom of your coffee cake. So not all the way to the bottom. Because otherwise it will sink deep and you won't have any brown sugar at the top once it starts cooking. It's okay though, it goes down in there all into the, ooh, into the cake and everything. So this is what you do, you stir it up and guess what, a pow. They didn't ask for it, but we're gonna put oh, cinnamon. I think that's the signature. My mom always puts cinnamon. And vanilla. Okay. A couple of splashes. Stir it up. And it's not gonna be crumply. It's gonna look juicy like this. And I remember my mom. You can put more flour if you like. See there? This is the topping. This is what makes it so delicious. Okay, now we've got our pan. Hold on. Okay, we've got some oil. We're gonna put it around. It's gonna rise a little, so put it around the sides. You could put it in a pan, a pie pan. You could put it in a cupcake pans. I didn't feel like messing with them because I made quite a bit, so I have to be taking them in and out of the oven, and it's not a hot day, but it's not a cold day. And I don't want the oven to go too long. This might cook a little longer. It's supposed to be 25 minutes, though. That's what it says. This is a double recipe, so you might cook it longer than that, like 50. But we'll check it. We'll keep checking it, okay? So, oil it good. And then um, after you're done, you take your mixture and you put it in your pan. I seen one guy. Ooh, he was so mad. He had a, a, a lady that was helping him. This is a true story. She wouldn't scrape everything off, and he's like, "Why so much waste?" He was really angry on there, on the cooking show. I think it was Wolfgang or Wolf something. He, uh, uh. He's like, "Why so much waste?" After she did it like more than once. <laughs> And I was like, I don't, I don't blame you. But did you know who you hired to, and how she does stuff? Wait till the show and you're gonna call her out. Unless she just kept doing it and you already told her. But it's really embarrassing. But I was seeing it too though. I was like, ooh, ooh. you just gonna throw all that away? Try and scrape off what you can. And my mom, I'll tell you one thing. She had, 
And it's gonna be kind of lumpy. It's not, I mean, you got cream cheese in there, it'll melt. You can melt your cream cheese if you want, but it's not gonna be, it's gonna be really good. But my mom has these spatulas and you scrape everything. She had them plastic ones and boy, you don't waste nothing. That's how I know you don't waste stuff. Cause she'd tell you, use a spatula and get it out. Can you imagine how much I'd have to put for, look at all this, this is a big pan. How many of those muffins I'd have to make? My mom would make us these big pans of coffee cake too and send them to the family. And we loved it. She would send it. Okay, so my hands are clean. Get it out of the spoon because it's stuck in there. We'll use them all. It's good. Just don't go under the fingernail. That's one thing is a no-no. <laughs> okay. Then spread it out real nice. It's recording. Yeah. Okay. Guys, I'm not showing my face right now. Sorry. This is a. This is the coffee cakes. Time. Go, I shouldn't have done it. Now I gotta get this off. People hungry. Better get all of it, okay? And really, I'm truly, I'm not trying to be funny. It's the facts. Your cake too, because you want to make sure it tastes really, really, really good and flavorful. But this topping just makes it. This adds to it actually. But if you don't have the topping on there, like you can put nuts, which we did put that. You can put it on whatever way you want, but it's gonna just blend in anyways once it starts cooking. But use it all. Um, my mom puts it all on the edges, so every time you cut some of it, it's going to get some all of the goodness. But, like I said, you can put nuts. You don't have to put all the sugar, because this is very bad for somebody who can't have sugar. And that piece has to come out, because it's like, uh-oh, I'm messing it up, aren't I? It feels like it's hard or something. how it got like that but it didn't get blended up I thought I blended it up it was a bug <laughs> no I'm just kidding no my mom used to put raisins in it did you guys know that she used to put raisins in her coffee cake she did different things and I think she still does now that I think about it I don't like how that piece of brown sugar didn't melt we'll take that out but it was funny because, okay, we had some friends over and my dad, you know, he was in the service and all. So he had his buddies over and his wife, their wives came over to visit and my mom made her famous coffee cake. And they're like, yeah. And then my little sister, she was bad. <laughs> at this time, at this particular time. And uh, she snuggled up to the Sis, if you're watching this, you remember this. And you probably know what's coming. Um, snuggled up to the lady that came over. And that's all you do, guys. You just do this. And we're going to set the oven. But she snuggled up to the lady. I'm going to do this. And she was being buddy-buddy with her. And my mom was wondering why she was so snuggled up. And she heard the lady go, Oh, that's not very nice. And then my mom was like, why, what? And she said, well, she said that you put boogers in the coffee cake. <laughs> you hear me? 
she told the lady that you put, she put boogers in it. So if my mom had raisins in there, and she's a little child, she was in school, so it was like she was like five or six. Not like she was a little baby. She told him that, and she, my mom said that nobody ever leaves any of her coffee cake, but this lady didn't eat all of hers. She left like some of it. But can you imagine? Don't eat it. She told him, don't eat the coffee cake because my mom put boogers in it. And they were like, huh, you shouldn't say that. And she told her that. So anyways, there we go. And then I was going to add some more cinnamon on top, but it's fine like that. And we're going to cook it and I'll show you what it's like when it's done. Give it about 25 to close to 50 minutes because it's a big one. See, it's heavy. It's like my macaroni. <laughs> All right, and we'll show you what it looks like and what, what it tastes like. Okay, so this is the coffee cake. It's all done. And what I know is what my mom always does. Take a little bit of butter. Let it melt on there. Okay, just put it around on there and it'll melt down in there. You can spread it on if you want or wait till you get one piece and you put it on there, but that's the final stage. And it's done. Who wants to try the coffee cake? Okay, so we're going to cut it. hope it's good. It looks good. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to cut it. Okay, so we're going to cut it. How does it look? Amazing. How does it smell? Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, now the brown sugar might be down in there, too. You don't have to make it big, or you don't have to make it small, or you, know, you make it whatever size. I hope it's done inside. Hold on, is that done? Well, I took the toothpick and tested it. Mm -hmm. Does that look good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops. Trying to see how to get it out. <laughs> this is for the side. Can you bring me that plate? You don't have to have this one. I'm just going to take a couple of them out. Mm -hmm. Is that look done? done? I think I put two different, three different flowers, so it might look a little bit different than. I'm not sure if it's done. I don't think it's done. Is it? It's good, I mean, it looks huh? like it. That's the brown sugar, huh? It might. I was gonna say that might just be the different things. Like and then plus, I took two different kinds of flour. A little moist. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's uh <-huh>. okay. <laughs> okay, I like the end one. <laughs> we can try it and see if it's good. There's some forks right there. So guys. Thank you. All. This is the coffee cake. I think it's done. Is it done? It just looks... Yeah, there's cream cheese, I forgot, so it's going to be a little more moist. Let's try it and see. Mmm. It's really good. Is it cooked, or do you think we need to cook some more? I think that's cooked. I think that's this. Brown sugar. A little mixture. Is, um, this is it good, guys. Moist. It's really good. Mmm. I don't think how it's done. Oh, is it just dough? Brown sugar melted to the bottom. Probably should put a little bit more flour if you eat it. What did you think of it? Amazing. And it's still hot. And I never made it with a 
with the cream cheese. It just looks really soft, but yeah. I think it's because of the... It tastes done though, huh? Mm -hmm. I think it had 18 minutes left. Do you think I should let it cook the last 18 minutes or what? It got really brown on the top though, so I think it's done. I think it is. Mm. Try it out guys, but I have the different flowers. The almond and the coconut, so it's a different. And then also, the cream cheese is in there, so it's going to be a little bit more moist. But you see that? That's the coffee cake. It doesn't look like the ones I see on TV. No. <laughs> but it looks good, though. See? It's really good. Thank you. You guys like it? Mm -hmm. It's all done. So try it out, guys. You can adjust things or change things or whatever, but it has a delicious, really delicious flavor. You don't have any more milk from Dotson. Of course, my mom. Look on the side door, it's cream though. No, it's not milk. <laughs> and I put cream instead of the, the milk, so it's really a lot of moist things. But it's really delicious, so try it out. It has a very good flavor. And um, it tastes like coffee cake. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. See you later.